Welcome to Backyard Smoke. Today I'm gonna show you guys how we make some crispy wings on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Let's get it. All right, so the first thing I like to do, as you can see, I've already separated my wings, took the tips off, uh, separated uh, the legs and the flap. And what I do is put on a baking rack and I go ahead and kind of pat it dry. This kind of helps with the crispiness. Then I take a mixture of baking powder and some kosher salt. And I'm gonna put it right back in the refrigerator for, I don't know, a few hours. The longer the better. I got about four hours time today, so we're gonna let that sit for about four hours. And what it's gonna do is help dry that skin off. So when we put it on the smoker, it's gonna start and get crispy. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, man, it's been about four hours. We're gonna go ahead and season the day with some garlic parmesan from Weber. And we're going to be using some kicking chicken on the other rack. I'm making two different kinds a day, uh, buffalo and garlic parm. So it's real simple, just go ahead and season up your chicken. Uh, be very, very liberal, chicken is bland. You do not want to go light on the seasoning. Um, and this to that, what I will do is just let this sit out for about uh, 15 minutes, give or take. While the uh, grill finishes heating up, let those seasons sit in and uh, get deeper into the skin. This will help with the flavor as well as build a nice crust. So the way I got this set up today is with my Arbor Fab basket. We're going to light coals on half the side. What this is going to allow us to do is get a nice high temperature of around 350 degrees is what we want. But it's also going to allow us to have a cool side to rotate the grate so the chickens don't burn the whole time. We're not using a water pan or, or the fire dowel or any type of barrier. We're just going to go straight over the coals, but it's going to be pretty tall so they shouldn't burn. But yet, yeah, don't fill the whole basket up and don't use a minion method. So once the uh, grill hits the temperature, about 350 or so, go ahead and lay those down. I forgot to mince, I did throw a chunk of apple wood in there, but feel free to use whatever type of wood you like to add the flavor that you like. I just like apple and uh, cherry and some type of peas. I love fruit, fruit woods on uh, chicken. So go ahead and lay these out in any particular order, it doesn't matter how you do it. And we're gonna come back here in just a few minutes and uh, flip these over and see what we got. So we went ahead and flipped these and turned up the heat because it's raining outside so our temperature dropped. So basically we just opened up one more vent to keep us around that 350 degrees. All right, so after the skin gets nice and crispy, what you're gonna to wanna to do is start glazing it. Don't go too heavy right yet, just kinda of pat it and rub it. What we're just gonna do is let it sit for two minutes, then flip it again, glaze it, and then let it sit and rest. If you go too heavy on the sauce, you're gonna end up making it soggy. So go ahead and just be light with it, but get that flavor in there, all right? All right, my friends, this is it. Crispy chicken wings on the Weber Smoky Mountain. Just remember a couple of key points here. Always get your skin as dry as possible and get that temperature nice and high. If you do that, you're guaranteed to go ahead and get that nice crispy skin that you always want. All right, until next time, be blessed. <laughs>